If you're looking for an adventure in central Illinois, look no further than the zoo. The Glen Oak Zoo in Peoria has been amazing visitors since 1955. But as director Yvonne Stroh tells us, it's just recently things have really taken off. We've gone big places with the zoo from where it started out at seven acres. We're at about 15 and a half now. Get a lot of people from out of town coming to visit us where it used to be regional. Got a lot of members interested in coming back. You know, people come back five, six times a year just to see what we've done. The most notable of the expansions is a $25 million African exhibit completed in 2009. Visitors will find themselves walking around in a whole nother world. how close they are to the animals here. It's not like you're looking at a long distance here. So, I mean, you can be face to face with a lion uh, through the glass and really see how big the paws are uh, and everything. So that's one of the things people are really amazed about. Here at the new Australian Walkabout exhibit, visitors are able to get up and personal with Australian animals, such as the emu, the black swan, and the wallaby. A lot of people were surprised when they opened the door for the first time and there's an emu right in their face. Uh, they're actually walking right in with the animals and a lot of people from Peoria had never experienced that before. The Australian exhibit is the newest of the exhibits at the zoo, but it isn't the newest addition to the family. baby tiger cubs, very excited. Uh, first time mom, she was perfect with the babies, uh, didn't have any problem, we didn't have to help in any way. So they're out uh, five days a week now, people love coming to watch them grow. And from the tiger cubs, you'll make your way into the Asian loop. <laughs> Forget the tropical building, home to some of the most friendly animals in the zoo. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, the Peoria Zoo has come a long way to be where it is today. When we really started adding to the older section of the zoo in this new entry, everything came together. Actually, people have to use their maps now. Before it was kind of like, eh, go outside and make circles and you're done. And, uh, but now it's, uh, they seem to get lost from time to time, so we kind of have to help them. So we don't want them lost, but it's nice that they have so many options. And they've got to sit down and go, have I seen everything? And they'll go, oh no, we didn't see that, and they'll have to go back. For another visit of About Town, I'm Chad Weber.